Welcome to Dairy Farm Pest Control number 46 with the FX Dreamline in 177. So I just thought I'd uh, let everybody see exactly what the uh, part of this uh, looks like in the dairy. Um, dairy for a and this is the uh, crowder that they use uh, for the cows. So all the cows are in the corral waiting to be milked in the parlor and uh, they send back this crowder drops that uh, that uh, not a gate but a rail or whatever and, <clears throat> and then what they do is they eventually push them all up to the parlor which is where all those lights are so that will then start to move and I'm not really sure who's looking or who controls it but the operators control it and it's uh, slowly but surely they just supposed to so they sometimes need to be given a little bit of a of a push. Here's where I set up with my shooting sticks. And on this one I can't turn off the lights. So I just have to and then I have to be worried about the girls when they decide to stop and look at everything. So Again, this is a nighttime shoot, and uh, starting out, I got that, that sparrow. Most of these are all sparrows. Um, that's what uh, they, he usually has in this parlor. <clears throat> so, setting up on these guys, and I say, well, I'll take the far one first in case the near one won't fly. And I'll be darned if that didn't work. So, the near guy did not fly away. See these guys? These are uh, probably, I want to say, 25, 30 yard shots, uh, the bulk of these. And I'm shooting the H&N uh, Terminators, which are really, really accurate out of this gun. It's amazing how accurate they are. And uh, again, they just keep flying back and forth over the parlor. But uh, when they set up, then it's like, okay, can I get a bunch of these at once, or what's going to happen here? So set up on this guy, and most of them fly away. Then I set up on this guy, and, you know, I swear I hit him. But he doesn't really move. So I'm like, okay, maybe i got to hit him again. Well, I think my first shot had gotten him. His head was starting to go down, but line up on this guy, and lights out for him then just keep moving to the left on the parlor as I see him now is there enough to hit yes there is I have a couple of shots like that where there's not much showing and those terminators are just deadly accurate go right where I aim which I'm really happy with go ahead and take care of that guy guy flies a little bit closer to me. <clears throat> I'm happy about that. I have no idea how I missed the one that was above it, but I did. See, this is a... Uh, do I take this shot or do I not take this shot? Sure, why not? I'd be darn if I didn't get that guy. He thinks he's uh, safe up there in that little cubby hole. Yeah, not so much. Let's spot these guys. And again, basically, they fly from one spot to the other, so I'm usually going from right to left. See where they all go. This guy's not showing much. Got him as well. It's probably a 10-yard shot. He's nice and close. A little brood. Let's see how far away we can get from them. Well, I'll give you a hint. You can't get far enough. So, line up on this guy. And I'm like, 
take out uh, some of these other guys. But I'm pretty sure I come back to that other one that was sitting in that, wherever that joy joist was. Not much there. I'm able to take him out. Take him out. Oh, you hear that thumping in the background? Uh, I've got to apologize for that. That is not my heart. One of the uh, YouTube viewers let me know after they watched my video from a while ago that the part actually does that on its own after it gets uh, below a certain charge on the batteries. So here's that joist one again. I'll be darned if I don't get them. That's awesome. <clears throat> so that, that thumping is actually the part itself. And uh, I have to remember to not let my battery get below a, a third full and just replace it out and then that'll take care of that noise so these are the last two shots for this video i thought he was safe he wasn't so thanks so much for watching and please like and subscribe